Monroe Pop Fest. That's yes. right. We're covering everything. There's a lot of vendors here. There's some really cool cosplay. We're going to try and catch it all on film for you. Some great interviews. I'm here today with Detroit's living legend, Darren McCarty. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. Oh, it's a pleasure. Good to see pleasure. Good to see you. Great to be on the show. Um, what brings you here to the Mineral Pop Fest? Well, I think first of all, when you think about this, it's definitely I have a saying: "Don't tell me what, tell me who." And it starts with the people and yeah. the people here uh, between Gary and Terry. Uh, you know, it's funny when you say that, Gary and Terry, but they remind me of Monroe, and it's the people of Monroe and the community of Monroe, and and everything else and I think to be able to bring in such a special event that is so eclectic across so many fields um, you know it, it helps me personally because I do so many things from the band to the brand uh, to comedy to the hockey stuff to yes. everything but to be able to come here and see some of my heroes I see Al Snow sitting there you got Olivia Debo yes, sitting over there yes, I'm old yes. enough to understand yeah, and watch her be a big <laughs> yes. fan so uh, you know and I see like the guys like Dirk Manning and I get to see you know I, I have a strong relationship where all my comics and, and stuff go through Mess Bucket Comics and my boy Dom so to see a lot of the artists that have helped out with the upcoming uh, graphic novel that we're that we're finishing up, so th really? it's, a, it's a great opportunity for me to do a lot of different things. Can you tell me a little bit about the graphic yeah, novel? Yeah, so well, I wrote a book 10 years ago, My Last Fight, You Story of a Hockey rock star. but um, it was always, uh, you know, different ways that I'm looking to express myself, and I realized writing a book, it just was too long, and writing a graphic novel with, with 150 pages and pictures takes a little time too, but yeah. it also enabled me to tell the story from where it left off because you know frankly 10 years ago i was still drinking i've been sober since november 11 2015 congratulations so that's, that's awesome yeah people who have followed the journey with that yes. my journey with cannabis and stuff but not only did we start in the meantime donnie brook the hockey series which is based off a lot of my experiences all right in hockey uh, yes you have it listen we all talk about mental health and it's okay not to be okay my big thing is to get it out that's why i got the band that's why i have other things to be able to express myself and not keep it in my head okay but now it's to be able to share it in the different ways and you know like to me it's it's you know, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be a Detroit Red Wing with the organization and the, the culture that we had. But to see, like, I know how we're connected when you come for the hockey, but, but I want to know how we're connected elsewhere because of the other loves we have. I'm a big wrestling fan. I get to see Rhino and call Terry, you know, a friend of mine, and I've sure. watched him over the years. So for me personally, this is like coming home. The brain jerk guys are my buddies. And, nice. And you know, anytime I can get a Maya's Mexican from Tino, I mean, I, that's like worth the trip in itself. Awesome. So between that, awesome. you know, my boy Mikey Shoemaker, who's been a, a road dog of mine for past 25 years, uh, this Monroe holds a special place to me, but nice. it's also a great place to be able to see all the different things going on. Awesome. Slightly off subject, you talked about the culture in the area. Is yeah. it different being in Detroit than it than it is like in you know, other parts I, I, of the country? I, do you think do you I'll, think we take our hockey a little more special well, it's, as a it's spot hockey here? Town if you're talking about Detroit, but if you're specifically talking about Monroe, yeah, in this area, this is a hockey community, and this is like this reminds me of more of a Canadian town. I've always kind like of felt growing that, yeah. up. This is more of like a Port Huron vibe where it's a hockey centric. So you have that vibe, but you know, the Detroit and the area, we know what the culture and the tradition of the uh, hockey is, and that's what its job is. Hashtag Wiser Play 1919, Steve Eisman's <laughs> job to get this thing back on track. My job is the buffer between the fans and the team to and keep to be out excited. here at the comic Con <laughs> and all the cons, anything with a con on it. So I have actually been put up for this question, so I want to ask you, what is it like to be the last entertaining hockey player? <laughs> Draws, McCarty in, McCarty! Personality, you know what? Like that's what they said when I stand up on stage doing comedy. I go, yes. listen, I'm not a comedian, but I got, I got a band. I'm not a, I'm not a musician, but what I am is an entertainer. Uh, I like so that. you know what? 
you know what? Even I'm on the ice, fortunate. you were a character. It was I, fun to you know, watch you. Hockey has changed, Because you know what right? I really realized is that I'm just, every life is wrestling, and I'm just a wrestler at heart, oh. except never getting it, and, and that's what it is. So that's why, if anybody who knows, my affinity now for wrestling in the area of wrestling, IWR, all the different deathmatch companies, mm-hmm. you know, the... I, I manage Midwest Scum, the Dread King, Logan, and uh, Grimy Zach Thomas, and also my protege, uh, the lovable psychopath Tommy Vendetta, who allegedly, we cannot confirm, it's still in the courts with 23 and Me, uh, whether he is my seed or not, but, he, but I do follow him around the country because I believe in supporting the youth and their passions. Stay tuned for that. We're waiting like back for the we test will. results. You know how that goes. <laughs> Well, my friend, thank you so much. I appreciate my your pleasure, time. Brother. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having me on. And thank you. Make sure you're attacking the show. That was a little disturbing. We're brother, brother. All right, so we're...